All right, guys, today we're working on the Minn Kota. Uh, this little piece right here broke on it, and what that does is it locks <clears throat> the trolling motor from turning left and right freely. Right now, it actually works. It just doesn't lock, <clears throat> but it will hold its position and all that. This is called the liner output tube lift assist. It's just a piece of plastic. It's very nothing to it, but getting to the area where we got to replace it is where all the work is all right so this is where the part is right here so we're gonna have to probably loosen this we're gonna have to take the head off up there a couple things off up there and slide this whole motor out from this way take this apart just to be able to get to this on the inside this just slides down on top of it right here is all it does this slides down and that little piece locks right there that locks inside that gap and that's what's broke all around there it got caught on some structure in the water while I was trolling along I'd gotten snagged and I couldn't stop it in time and it broke so let's get to it put the work in it and figure out how to do it together so we're gonna go straight to the head first we'll get all these screws out one two three four and we got five now I don't know what it's like underneath here I've never taken one of these apart I've done my manual one. I don't know how many times. I knew it in and out, but this one's different. Don't forget to disconnect this thing from the battery, which we've already done. So we're going to go ahead and take all these screws out, open this top, and see what it looks like, guys. All right, we got them four screws off, and this is what we're looking at. So your wire goes down the middle, comes in right here, obviously. So I think our best bet's going to, we're going to have to cut this, and that should be, that should be like clamped together, like pressed in with some kind of butt connectors or something. That's what I'm hoping. These two screws off still, and we'll take this head completely off. But yeah, I'm gonna get a little razor knife or something, cut them off, and we'll go from there. All right, just as I said, these were butt connectors, got the tape off, did that, and this was actually one bolt right here, not two from each end. Um, <clears throat> this went through this was on this end the nuts on this end all right so i just kind of grabbed it from both ends there and wiggled it out it come right out so i'm gonna take this off next <clears throat> that's nothing at all to be self-explanatory and from there i don't know again because i've never done it but it in my head this thing should slide all the way out and then from there, we're going to have to get into this box and go from there. All right, so with this, you don't have to unscrew this thing all the way. But if you do, be careful. There is a black washer on this side of it. And that nut will come out also. But you shouldn't have to unscrew it all the way. Just enough to loosen it. Slide it on out. All right, guys. I told y'all this whole thing was a learning lesson for me. So, I have no doubt some of you already know. But for the guys that don't, and this particular thing happens to you. And you need to replace that. I'm going to let you know right now. This right here is a retracting device. What helps you store this thing. This little silver piece right here in this groove retracts into here. And I'm going to assume you take it apart from right here. And it's going to retract. So when you put it back together, you're going to have to stretch it. And it is tight so um yeah it's gonna take me a minute to figure it out exactly but uh yeah and as soon as i figure it out i will let y'all know all right guys. guys made my first big mistake right here this thing has four screws in it right here and when it was sitting on there like if so i thought that that screw right there went through the center somehow or another and i had to get to it 
from back here once I got this off <clears throat> that's not the case and I thought that because this sits still the whole time but this holds it in place but once you disconnect this that son of a gun almost hit me in my face so if you you know I don't know another way I I'm really don't feel like I want to take this apart but that might be what you got to do I don't know but I got this off and it curled up and went flying straight up here it you know it re recoiled into there so there's that uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to take that off I guess and uncoil it and try to get that out and I'm gonna go from there once I do that I'll be able to slide this whole piece out but for now I'm gonna go with what I just said I'm gonna take this off try to straighten this out or, or roll this thing out of here and get this straight and I'll, I'm gonna go from there guys all right so I took that off of there that's the allen wrench it is a 564 allen wrench I just backed it out a little bit you can see it's got you can slot it up and pull it out from here once I got it loose so I'm going to attempt to straighten this out like it man this was crazy so we're gonna we're gonna go that route and try to get that dude out of there guys all right so I as I just would unwind it I'm just feeding it up as I unwind it and it keeps going up so all right guys I'm gonna save y'all some headache do yourself a favor tie your string through the hole of that dude right now because that spring will completely retract into that mechanism that's what I'm doing here um I'm all with a mess up here I don't know we're gonna find out though because really don't have another option like this is still see how it retracts oh well there you go so <clears throat> and it got me right there look at that like I almost didn't even feel that cut but it got me so <laughs> we're gonna go bandage that up but I guess it don't go all the way in yes it does but yeah so we're gonna take that off then we can slide this whole thing off and from there we're going to get into this box and open that All up right, guys hear me now believe me later when this thing is all curled up sitting out here you're putting it back together tie run you a string through here or just tie a string to it and run it through it this way either way tie you a string to that dude all right so i'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the correct way to do it just be careful when you're doing it and learn your lesson from me. That dude's gonna come out of there now. All right, get all bandaged back up. All right, guys, I had to take both side plates off on each side of the trolling motor, just two screws on each side. And mind you, on the other side, it's got the wiring on it, but that's not gonna be in your way. Just make sure you don't lose your screws for it. So anyways, the reason being, this last little bolt down there you can't get to because this bar is in the way this bar is what holds this whole piece together so what you do is you lift that up and there's one two three four five six seven eight there's eight bolts <clears throat> that holds this piece together so i'm gonna have to knock this through in order to knock through again we have to take the sides off once i knock it through i'll be able to get to that last bolt and get this thing apart all right we got that bolt knocked through all right holding rod whatever you want to call it holds this whole thing in there you got that knocked out you see a washer on that side a washer on that side or a bushing and i've already pried on this a little bit so we're just going to pry the rest of the way around open her up all right guys there you go opened her up and this is it i mean such a easy piece that comes off You got bushings and all kinds of stuff on that. So make sure you know, you see how bad it's broke. But the new piece is right there. So rubber little gaskets on it. So we're gonna get it back together and put it in there. All right guys, so this was down in there, right? 
you see the white plastic right here that goes over over this that white plastic facing down all right next is a couple of gaskets there's a flat washer gasket and there's a round one you're gonna put that on top right here this one on top of here that's how that sits and then your actual plastic piece you see the grooves in there that sits in those grooves I didn't show it but make sure you put your little flat washer on the top of that thing also and then you just take this place it back on there uh, mine had some sand in it and stuff so I'm just kind of cleaning it up a little bit and then I'm gonna start putting it all back together come on guys so we got all them pieces in place there put this cap back on and kind of tapped it down with a rubber mallet just kind of tapped it into place because it was real tight fitting you know it's got to be watertight for sure so also put a little grease some water marine grease around the uh gasket the outside gasket just placed it all around around that just to help it uh to be honest you should probably go ahead and just replace that gasket so if you do this job you may just want to order that uh i didn't do it this time so that's on me and if it leaks that's gonna be on me as well so it's just time to put everything back reverse order all right guys so i tightened these down with a t20 torx wrench right here a little something a lot of people don't know you see these they got these little slots in it you can actually put a wrench a box wrench or a round on there i couldn't find the exact size for this so i just put a crescent wrench on it and it grabs it and i've already tightened them down but it just gives you a little bit more leverage so gives you a little bit more leverage to torque them down i torque them down pretty tight i uh, don't have a number i don't think there is a number to torque them down but just i torque them down pretty tight there all right guys so this is going to be tricky because we got to put this little piece back on here so i've slid that bolt through the other side is lined up i got this big old piece of uh, is an eight by eight to hold this piece down so this will stay up out of the way what i'm going to do is i got this extension in a 10 millimeter a 10 millimeter fits over that perfect that's what i did i actually wasn't thinking but I, I need to get a longer extension a deep well socket i'll put a little grease on there to hold that thing on there pressed up against it and then tapped it from this side and it went on there so it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be so but when you do take this off these things may not be tight anymore so that is another thing you may want to reorder you just may want to reorder that one and that one just in case they're not going to be tight because you don't want that thing this thing sliding out of there on you. something else i did on all of these i don't know if i mentioned it i put a little grease on the threads on every single one of them put a little more put a little grease back on them and i even put some grease on this rod that we just got in there all right guys at this point it may be beneficial to have two hands two sets of hands um getting those wires through here because you're going to be way out here trying to feed this through this pipe and if these wires get in the way you need to get them to come through first so either tie a string to them and kind of just pull on them while you push this thing through or get you another person so that's a couple of options there and then push it on through and so now we're gonna get this bad boy in there this isn't gonna be fun because we're gonna have to put it in this groove slot it through and get that going again we're gonna pull it we're gonna straighten it out pull it through there and hopefully that'll get it a lot easier all right we gotta pull through there this thing's got enough bend in it to where it holds right here so we're gonna slide this dude back on all right here. guys so make sure you know which way this has got to go back on there it's it's kind of weird but you have to come in from this way come in like this put your little 
screw through there and slot it through the small section and just kind of open it up turn it down make you know get this out of your way so you can get in there and so from here now all i got to do is straighten this back out put all this together put this one on uh this side and bolt them all back together all right guys here we go got her back on there Hope y'all learned something from me on this one. All right, guys. So now all you got left is putting your head on there. <clears throat> one of my connectors broke, so I'm going to have to replace that. But before you put this head on, make sure you put your stopper on, all right? Because you'll be taking it back off if you don't. So put your stopper on first. <clears throat> put your head on. Connectors. My connectors broke. I think the rest is pretty self-explanatory gonna put this back on and put the screws back in that's it we'll be done